What well, everybody? It's down here. It's Friday. You know what happens on Fridays? I don't know what happens on Fridays. It's the day before the weekend, so I guess that's fun. Uh, nobody can pick what what the uh, what the music's from. Uh, Nevio says I can't actually attend right now. Thanks for coming along and say hello. Always appreciate that. Uh, Guillermo's, Guillermo's losing his shit because he doesn't know where he's, where the music's from. Lion Man also doesn't know, he can, he can, he, everybody knows the music, they don't know where it's from. Uh, you get 10 internet points if you can pick where it's from. I have actually used it before, I'll, I'll give you that much. Jeff K says, Jeff K, Jeff, Jeff K sent me a message like 15 seconds before the stream started and said, how about we have some Rocky League? And I'm like, I'm just about to stream. He's like, oh, have fun. <laughs> so I guess he's going to go and play Rocky Week. Yes, he's playing Wookie Wig right now. Alrighty. So, we're going to get back to One Late Night. Because it's early in the morning. So today we're going to do a bit of a random stream. Um, I'm going to try and hammer through try and hammer through this pretty quickly. And then uh, we'll do some decrating. Because I've got like a bazillion looking crates. I've got like 25 crates I've got to, I haven't opened yet. Um... So I'll do some decrating, and then if there's time left over, we'll probably do something else. So I'm going to do a brand new game, because at least now we know we've basically got an idea what to do. The stream's coming out. Oh shit! It is. Hold on. Hold on. It's Friday. That means shit internet. Shit internet. I call it. Fuck. There we go. Okay. All right. I fixed it. I'll be back with sandwiches. I was not ready for this. <laughs> it's... Yeah, it's my internet. I can tell I've got drop frames, so I'll I'll turn it down. And if it's if it gets worse, I'll turn it down again. And if it gets worse than that, then fuck, we're fucked. Everything's over. Okay. Now, just th I've got this scrolling ticker thing here. Now, for some reason, it doesn't seem to update. I don't like it. It, it is updating. Like Tornerin's in there. He 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 subbed like a week ago. Um, but there's one guy in there. Oh shit! I haven't changed the promised land. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's only twenty one days until the promised land. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem to update. There's one guy that's that is in there that's been in there for like months. I know because he's got a weird weird um thing in his name. Um. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. <clears throat> I thought I'd fixed it, but apparently not. Okay, so... I don't know what to do first. Uh, sit down and work at Puta? Or do we get up and get coffee? I don't remember. Lemon's going to give me a shout if it if it's, starts crapping out again. Now, if you didn't watch this yesterday... Um, we, we had multiple stabs at this, um, I saved it and then it crashed, uh, sorry, no, I saved it and then we died, so I reloaded it and then it was, then it was bugged out because we didn't have the things we were supposed to have. And then we played it through from the start again and then it crashed. So, that was a bit shit. We had an experience. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of an issue, um, because... Yeah, better get back to work. Uh, because I've, we've seen all the jump scares so far, um, and then unlikely to be scary again. Um, but here's, I, I tell you what, if you haven't watched this before, uh, nobody, I think everyone in chat has been here before, but if you're watching this after the fact, I won't tell you when the jump scares are coming. Um, we'll just, we'll just, um, we'll go through it together. Uh, me. I like how he can't remember his own password. He's like, oh, what was the note again? I can never remember my password. It's like half my customers. Um, actually, I don't think I actually even need to use the computer, do I? Do I need to use the computer? I don't think I do. It might, I might have to actually use it to trigger something, but... 
Oh, here we go. Here's the pen. Yep. Got the pen. It's all good. I had three cups of coffee less than five minutes. This is going to be nice. You certainly going to need to pee. All right, I've got to go and get the key. Oh, I didn't see the door open before. Interesting. I reckon I've walked past it and not actually looked at it. So that's interesting. There's something in the toilet. It's a poo covered key. Why is it in the toilet? That's what I want to know. The computer is for flavor text and saving. I thought you actually had, had there was actual important info that I needed from the computer. Robert, are you in here? Oh no, Devil in the Vale, what is he talking about? Robert has lost his shit. Robert. Uh, CD Home, CD Robert, CD Journal, text. Oh no, I can't change directory. I have to journal the text. I don't think I even have to read any of this shit. I don't think. I think I just had to check the draw. Oh no, I can't check the draw yet. I need more whiskey, says Lime Man. I like how they're knocking on the door and ringing on the phone. Thanks, I see you too. <laughs> I did a lot of exploring the first time around. I just like wandering around different offices. Hang on, my goal. was a girlfriend saying, have you seen my USB stick? You mean the one I gave to you yesterday? Yeah, that one. Right, um, chair, Ooh, scary chair. Oh, I better get myself a coffee. Ah, oh, the doors. Who opened all of these? They must be spring loaded. That's the, that's what, what's going on, I think. Just keep my head on the door. I've had enough coffee now. I, I agree. I have had com more than enough. Oh, look, a balloon. <laughs> yeah, that would have been amazing. Oh! Oh, I'm so scared. So this is about where we got to yesterday. So what I'm going to do is go and save it. Um, I'm not sure if anything triggers it now on the way back, but I think it was on the way back that it crashed. Was that a box of Frosties in the cupboard? Uh, it was off-brand, off-brand Frosties, but yeah. They were terrific. No, don't save, says Awful Nick. Okay, well, alright, I won't save. Ah, she's coming! What about shall I do? I, th I don't know, was it the fact that I saved? Like, I mean, loading the save certainly glitched out. I can't get it under my desk. Let me under my desk. No, I don't want to log into the computer. Now's not the time. No, I don't want to turn the fucking computer on. That song on. I'm actually stuck. I can't. Hang on. I should be able to get under the desk, but I can't. There we go. I'm hiding. She'll never find me in here. Get the flashlight, then save. Alright. So I need batteries for the flashlight. Where was where's the second set of batteries? Because I get like one battery out of that thing, but I don't get two. 
So I need to know where the second battery is. So I got to about... I got one of the batteries last time. And the lady kept on appearing. There's a battery in here, I'm fairly certain. Oh, I've got to get the torch first, that's right. Back we go. The first set of batteries is in that room straight ahead from the hall where your office is. Oh, in there, okay. Oh, I guess I haven't spawned yet. I actually went and looked in there. I'm 99% certain I looked in there, although the batteries are tiny, so it's difficult to see. Why is this not unlocked? Oh, I've got to... That's right, I've got to do this. Check my drawers. It says R. R. The light is your friend. R. I got it. Here we go. Me has torch. It's not a flashlight, it's torch. Let go. I better look for batteries. Sneaky peeky peeky. Shit. So, okay, so this is about as far as I got last time. Um, so. I can't see there. <laughs> Damn, America's mispronouncing torch. <laughs> Don't you know how to spell torch, you fucker? Uh, yeah, there's no batteries in here. At least not as far as I can see. It's really, it's really dark. I wish I had a, I wish I had a fucking flashlight. Flashlight. Not flashlight. Not a flashlight. There's actually like a mark on my screen that's about the size of a battery, and I keep looking at it, going, "Oh, the battery! Oh, no, it's not. That's not it." Turns out, not so much a battery. Um. Okay, well that's very good. Maybe the battery doesn't spawn until I go and get the other battery. I might go and turn this light on too. So can I hide in any office that has a light? I'm presuming I can, otherwise there wouldn't be hiding spaces everywhere. Is this a hiding space? Not really, it's just a place to stand. I can hide under the desk though. Hide under the desk though, that's alright. That's alright. Alright, so there's a battery there. I can see that one. Catching! A Dura cell. I'm surprised the battery isn't off branded. It just says Dura cell. Oh. Hello! Well, fuck you, I'm gonna hide in here under the desk. I would close the door, but I don't have one. Why does this office not have a door? Seriously. I'm standing like, I'm sitting right next to the door. I, I saw you make the flashlight joke. I thought it was something really, something related to the game. It turns out you spent flashlight. So. Stop turning the lights off, you prick. She's very, um, very power conscious. Trying to save the world and all that. Got two screws here. I've no idea what they're from. Tiny little screws. She sounds animatronic. They should have used a better, a better sound for her moving around. Unlike the wind, says Vince. Well, I'm sitting under a table. That's kind of the same thing. If I move out there, she's going to see me and get me. Gonna get me. Do I have to hide in my office? Can I hide out here? I thought I could hide in here, but maybe I can't because she's not going away. Sweets are environmentalists even after death. There we go. Why did this guy get a, get a good phone? My phone, shit. Okay. Just hit it with a torch. I can't. I don't have a battery. So I'm hoping the other batteries spawn now. Oh god, I'm 
It's so slow. That's the one thing that infuriates me is there's no running in this game. It's like I could do a do an asthmatic shuffle, and that's about it. Uh, no, no batteries in here. Throw her out the windows. I'll try one of the other rooms. I know when I hid in here earlier, all the, all these, yeah, all these computer things changed to scary faces, which is actually a little bit unnerving. That's probably a robot. Tortured even in death. Especially in death. Um, hmm. Yeah, battery in here. Battery's actually in the room with the other monitors in it. Well, that's what, that's where I just was. Oh, I got nothing. Oh, man, these things are so glitchy. There is it like you wouldn't think you get to the second drawer down, but you can if you mouse over the right pixel. I bet you can get to the bottom one too if you mouse over the right pixel. Yeah, let me get a bit closer. Nope, can't mess down that far. Nope. Fuck it. Fuck it. Get some distance and drop kicker. <laughs> I agree. Games need more drop kick options. Uh, nothing going on here. Oh, maybe this one. Battery in here? No. No batteries. I might leave these open so that, so that I know which ones I've done. Fuck. Come on, hide. Why won't you hide? There we go. Now we're hidden. Anything under this desk? No. I'm not sure if that music's atmospheric or whether it's actually part of the the game. <laughs> Dying light of the best drop kicking you accidentally did off a cliff or a building. Like ah 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 oh. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, actually, I wanted to apologise to everybody for not having produced a uh, Shack Tack video in two weeks. I have actually produced a video. I keep meaning to upload it. Every night I go, right, tonight I'm going to not forget to upload it. And then every night I forget to upload it. So it's actually been sitting there for about a week, waiting to be uploaded. Because I can't do it during the day because it takes too long. And I like being able to use my internet. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to apologise for that. Have you tried equipping the flashlight yet and give you a blast the good old nerd repellent? <laughs> what you mean, like, B.O.? Okay, um, I don't think you can equip the flashlight. It's just sort of something that is in your hand when it works, like the like the pen and the and the coffee. Maybe it's in here. There is a lot of stuff in here, relatively speaking. <laughs> I think I speak for everyone when I say we're all livid about the lack of armor videos. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, hello, hello. It must be in the bottom one. Fuck. I just saw the outline of the battery there. Hang on. Wait a minute. What, 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 what? That battery is fucking invisible. Lucky it's got this. It's got the glow around it. I'd never have fucking found it. Fucking invisible battery. Okay. Okay. Apparently, still I can't use the battery or the torch. Maybe I can only use it when she's out. Hello, lady. I got something for you. It's about the size of a penis. New Duracell stealth battery looking good. Looks good. I hope it doesn't turn out that I was sleeping the whole time. Because that would be a bit of a letdown. Downright miffed. Have you tried hitting her on the head with a chair? That is, like, in real life, like, that is probably what I would do. Just grab a fucking chair and run at her. Screaming. Well, I, okay. Oh, that's the, that's the music he's talking about. Right. I see.
I didn't realise that was the music he was talking about. I thought it was bugged out. Check Robert's desk doors again. Okay. Should I save it first? I've got a working torch now. Sort of. No, 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 I don't want to get out. Calm down. Well, can she open doors? I've never seen her open a door before. I can hear her moving around, actually. I don't normally hear her moving around. After you've fought her, you should get another gift from him. Well, the music stopped. The noise has stopped. But the um, creepy... Um... MS Paint-esque filter that goes has this over my screen. She opened all the cupboards when she can open doors. Well, that makes sense. Actually, that's that's a very good point. She did fling all the cupboards open at me at once. So, there's an entirely good chance that, yes, she can actually open shit. Right, I'm going to give it another... How much longer should I give it? I know I have to face her, but I don't know if I have to... Hang on. Fuck it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to be super elite. Ready? Watch this. Yeah, yeah. I'll log in from under the desk. Aha! Alright, let's try and save. Game state save! Alright, let's go. I'm feeling emboldened. I'm going to get out from underneath the desk. Hit someone with a torch. Hello? Wench? Is that here? Huh? Stop looking at me, creepy face. Is she behind the door? Nope. Oh, apparently Robert's got another... I hear her knocks on the door. She's coming closer. Is that what I said before? I hear her knocks on the door? I didn't really look at it the, this time around. I've forgotten what she said. Um, let's go to floor weapons. The light is the enemy of creepy kills everything monster. She keeps turning off the lights. I just say motion detect the light switches. <laughs> You're right. That is the answer to everything. Stop turning the lights off, wench! Should I hide or should I hit it with a torch? Apparently Robert was supposed to have another present for me. I'm not going to try and log in. Let's see if I can be bold. Hey! Leave my goddamn lights alone, woman! Don't make me hit you with a torch! Where is she? Waiting for the jump scare now. Using my Counter Strike skills, ready? This is how you go around the corners. Give yourself as much leeway as possible. I think she's actually behind me. I fucking tripped over the chair. Well, I don't know where she is, but I can tell you where she isn't. Oh, there she is. Ready? Let's just uh, close this. Perfect. She can stay in there. Uh, right. So, what was the, what am I supposed to do? There's something in Robert's office I was supposed to do? Apparently Robert was supposed to have another present for me. Oh! Oh, there's another battery. Oh! A third battery, you say? Lucky I turned around and happened to see that. Do I now have a working torch? Dost thou have working torch? to beat it back with a flashlight. Okay, well I've just got another 
She has done very bad things, says Robert. We all have. Hello? Try and torture. Where are you? I've got a torch here for you. And I'd very much like to flash it in your face. I have no idea if it's going to work. Oh, there she is. So do I have to... Is the mini mag torchy working? Oh my god! A light switch! Or whatever the fuck that is. I'm not getting any options to... She went fucking glitch through the wall! This is bullshit! What kind of fucking torch? Just ghost is she? Yeah, I think I've I've picked up a dead... A couple of dead batteries. So let me check in here. There must be more batteries. That's the only thing I can think of. I reckon I've got two dead batteries and one good one. Or I need more batteries. Oh, wait, wait. Ah, ha ha! I can batteries everywhere now. Yeah, yeah, that's a battery. Oh, fuck, it's used. So I should probably go around and check all the desk drawers for batteries, because that seems to be where they mostly be. Mostly are. Mostly be. Well, they do all seem to be used. Hide your plunk. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot to hide. Fuck, I knew there was something I was supposed to do. Downloading porn from LimeWire. Downloading viruses from LimeWire, I think you're fine. Okay, looking around, checking. I'm not even going to bother opening the drawers, I'm just going to mouse over it and see if there's a, an outline. I, uh, she's so bad, I bet she, she's downloaded Game of Thrones. So somebody said they think there's a battery in here. So let's just... See, I don't think this... I can't get into this set of drawers. Which is a bureau. And there doesn't seem to be a, like a waste basket or anything in here I could... Skin, stinge one from. Unless it's like under the desk somewhere. Hang on. No, not seeing anything. Looking for clues. Oh, fuck balls! Shit! What the fuck was she wearing? She's like a blue thing over her head. <laughs> oh. That made me lol. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I've fallen through the world. That's not good. My world. Now into the black abyss of nothingness. No, 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 new game. Shit. Logo. Nope. Shit. Fuck. False. Shit. Shit. Hang on, I've got a phone. Surely the phone has a torch. Why don't I just shine that in her eyes? Saving under the desk seems not to work. Now they tell me. Hey, Alan. We may be about to just play this through all the way all the way through again. I can't quit out either. You have to wait until the end of the fucking cutscene before you can press the escape key. Fuck, oh, damn. Yeah, so glitch saving in front of the desk may have been a mistake. Yes, I suspect it may have been. I think I now know why this game was free. Okay, so if I go, yes. I'll try it again, maybe just glitch it out that time. I'll hold down forward. Nope, that didn't work either. Ah, what a world! Okay. Okay, so we have to start again. Right, this is, this is the last playthrough. I'm not playing through this again. It's too buggy. The last one. You know the battery is invisible? After you get that note from Robert Jess that says she's done bad things, I think there may be a key in Robert's top drawer, but it may be hard to see. Replayability 100%, you can't do it in one go. That's exactly right. There, I mean, there probably ha have been people who have done this in one go. Um, like people who just, like, you know, chance the answers, or, you know, happen to find exactly what they needed. I'm not one of those people. I did escape the office, actually. That was interesting. I mean, I fell into a black abyss of nothingness, so I guess the end result was the same. Uh, 
Right. I'm getting good at this now. So let's go. To coffee. Robert's desk. I wonder where he went. One day he's here. Next minute he vanishes. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, someone's printing something out. After you get the key, you can use the fire escape door. That's where you get the ability to use the flashlight on it. Oh. Quick. To the coffee pot. Mmm, lovely coffee. I actually don't drink coffee in real life. I fucking hate it. Can't stand it. Can't stand the smell, can't stand the taste. There's nothing about coffee that I like. The Black Abyss is just a metaphor for how depressing the 9 to 5 work day is. Well, exactly. <gasps> What's this? Someone wrote shit on my computer. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Or IT work. Yes, well, yeah, well, yeah. Cannot disagree with you there. If you've just joined, we're playing... What the fuck's this game called? Into the Abyss or something? Where, what am I doing? I can't remember now. Uh, key, that's right, key. This door's supposed to open. It doesn't. It didn't trigger this time, for some reason. There's something in the toilet. It's disgusting. One thing I wish they had done in this game was um, slightly better textures on some of the shit. Yes, my browser history. <laughs> they did. It. Someone sat at your work PC while you were gone, stare at any ghost. My personal files, my privacy. I hope they didn't go through my browser history. All right. Here I am in Robert's Robert's desk. Robert. Uh, CD home, CD Robert. That's Robert. CD Robert. Uh, cat journal. Text. Oh my god, it's horrible. I wonder if I have to actually read that. Oh, no, never mind. I don't think I even have to get on his computer. I think it's just there for flavor text. She's done bad things. Very bad things. Picked up the note. Uh, Stuttering's back. Uh, I'll drop. I was probably just de like I was probably downloading a fucking email or something. Oh no, it's still going. Hang on, hang on. I'll drop it back another little bit. But I can't go back. I'm mean, already at potato quality. So I need kumquat and cucumber from here. Oh shit! Ah! <sighs> I pressed the wrong button again. I've done that like three times already. Internet pigeons are dying. Luckily, you didn't miss anything because we're going to do it again. So, yeah, I don't know what it is. My internet seems worse on a on a Friday. I don't even know what's causing it. These spilly little arms. I like to think that during the drop frame, Stan dances like nobody's watching. Yep, it buffered for a few seconds, and now we're back at the start. Because I pressed escape, and, uh, oh, look, I can walk around with this fucking thing open. I'm just going to leave that how-to-play thing there all day. Pro strat. Yeah, I, I click yes instead of no. It's kind of counterintuitive, but, you know. <laughs> this is the last run. Snopes confirms false. Well, I, I like. Uh, I didn't get very far, so I don't feel like that was a that was a worthy run. I've gotten so close to the end. Let me get rid of that now. What is this? I see you. Well, thanks. I see you too. To the pen. I have a pen, and I'm not afraid to use it. That note is in no way annoying. 
by pro, pro strat because if she appears in front of me, I can just stick the node in front of her face, and then I can't see her anymore. Uh, key. I could actually almost do a speed run. Problem is, you can't actually run in this game. You can sort of waddle. Ah! Come on, run. Look, this is like I'm holding down shift. This is it. And like, if you if you don't press shift for a bit, and then press shift, you'll sort of like uh 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 uh, and then you're back to walking. So that's kind of fucking annoying. I probably don't even really need to turn the light on. Oh my god, she hears the knock on the door. Um, I think I don't even need to come in here, do I? Oh, I'm fine. Someone's calling me at midnight. Yes, this is the baby strategy. Of, you can't see me, so I can't see you. Todd Lovell. I can't remember what I'm supposed to do next. I think. Oh! Oh, the balloon. Pop! Ah. I don't know what the significance of the balloon is. Like, it's actually. It's on the, it's on the main page as well, like on the, on the start menu. So. I might just turn this light on as well, just in case I need it. Um, right, so I think, I can't remember what to do next. She was a red balloon in previous life. Luft balloon. Where is she? Down there. No, no, I'm almost as exactly. Do I have to sit? I probably don't actually have to sit here. I could probably like walk or like work around her. But I guess. Uh, time to hide for the first time, then we get a flashlight, the batteries. Okay, cool. It's kind of annoying how the batteries don't exist until you actually fucking get the torch. I'd like to be able to pre do some of this shit. Oh, that's right. I look at the fucking. It's stupid. Also, how the how the desk doesn't unlock until you read the note. The light is your friend. Come on, open. Oh fuck! I closed it again. Give me. There we go. Now he had a he had a battery in here somewhere. I think it was in the bin. Oh, the battery actually doesn't exist until I pick up the other batteries. I mean, I have to pick up all the batteries in fucking sequence. She's still done very bad things. Let go. God damn. Nah. The batteries don't exist until you pick them up in order. Because, of course, they fucking don't. Should I save it? I'm afraid it's going to glitch out and fuck up again. Actually, like, the actual saving didn't didn't break anything, so I might actually just go through and save it. Okay. Should I save it now? Or should I wait? Fuck it, I don't think she's coming. Also, she's super slow. You that? You're slow. Soon I'll have a torch and I'll be able to leave. What do you think of that, eh? You prick. I can't even see her. I think she's actually hiding in one of the... One of the... Oh, actually, I know where she is. I know exactly where she fucking is. But just in case, I'm going to prostrate it. Yeah, she was in that room. With the battery in it. The one where I walked up and closed the door on her before, because she couldn't see me. <laughs> it was funny. Alright. Come on. Is that a new battery or an old battery? Also, how many batteries do I need? Okay, so that's a one... I've got one new battery. Was there a battery in here? I don't think there was. In Oh, they're in the drawers, that's right. 
Should I check if this guy brawls? Yes, he does. Pro strike check. Nope, no batteries in there. There's one in here, although it may not have spawned yet. Nope. Well, fuck this shit. I can't believe I have to pick up batteries in order. Man, I'm still dropping frames. What the fuck? I'm dropping frames like a motherfucker. What is going on? Holy shit. I'm dropping so many frames. I mean, you can't hear me saying that I'm dropping frames, but I am. Uh, is there any batteries in here? Nope. Of course there fucking isn't. I'm just watching the frames just go bloop, 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 bloop. Pissed away to the wind. Oh, he should be one in the bin. No. Fuck. Where are all... Uh, did I just check one drawer? I can't remember. Having to pick shit up in order is really frustrating. Like, this shit doesn't exist until you until you pick up the other shit that you need. Like, oh, no, that's not how real life works. Stuff exists even before you need it. Developers, take note. Where is she? She's probably in the room where I need to be. That's often how it works. Was there one in here that I needed? I don't think there was. I might just double check. Pro stat check. Oh. God damn. I drop frames is like crazy. Motherfucker. If it gets really bad at the end of... Oh, there she is. She's actually standing in the... In the room over there. Hello! How are we doing today? The she monster is suicidal and tries to help you by defeat her by planting needed items while you're not watching. Maybe. Well, now what? It's a Mexican standoff. Well, just a standoff, really. I think because she's behind glass, it doesn't trigger. Because I can't technically see her. Bloop. Hello. That was a bit of a bug. They should have probably thought of that. Let's have a look in here. No, nothing in here. I didn't close all these drawers either. What a messy fucker I am. Janice from accounting is going to give me a fucking earful. It's like, I'm not your mum. Clean up your own shit. I think this is where I got cornered last time. Now I think about it. Pro strike check. Oh. I've had enough coffee for now. Indeed. Well, fuck, where are the batteries? Maybe there was one in here that I didn't get. I'm pretty sure I checked all these and they're all dead empty. Yeah. Come on, close. Close, fuck up. There we go. Batteries in here. Nope. Check the waste paper bin. Batteries in there. Nope. <sighs> oh, fuck. Are there any batteries on the table there? Yeah, the the light switch. I I always presume the light switch click was her um, turning lights off, but maybe not. Ah! Maybe I have to do that so I can actually trigger it. 
Hello! She's so slow. She's also animatronic for some reason. I think I actually have to trigger a, a like a that happening before I can get any more batteries. Batteries in here? Nope. This is where I saved last time, I'm pretty sure. She's standing on a Roomba. Exactly. Speaking of which, I've got a Roomba, the, Roomba at the lounge room later. I meant to do it yesterday, but because we've got the Christmas tree out, and there's like presents underneath the Christmas tree, we sort of had to put something in front of it. And I was like, I was just going out the door, and I'm like, oh, no, no, fuck it, I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> Why can we see her now? Well, because of the window glass depolarizes in light in a special way, it becomes essentially a one-way mirror. Now my eye has battery. Nope, I may not has battery. I'll put my jacket on. Looks like a cool cool guy. Um ask his jacket. Be all like, get out of my house, woman. You shall not pass. Are there any batteries in here? Of course there isn't. Why would there be? Um, have we missed something? I, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to get more batteries. Did I get the battery out of the, I got the battery out of that room, didn't I? Fuck. Oh, it's alright, she's in there. <laughs> We're all good. Nothing to be alarmed about. Hello? I don't know where she's put these fucking batteries. How we doing? I'm gonna check the, check the bathroom. Fucking door. Cheers, no. I'll check the toilet again. Nope, nothing there. Nothing in there. Check the waste paper bin. Nothing in there. She's really not scary when you can just see her. I'm not really that. Fr I mean, I'm frightened when she like a like a like appears like right in fucking front of me. But to be honest, she's not really that frightening. I thought for sure there would be batteries up in here somewhere. It would make sense. I mean, that's the cutlery drawer. You don't put batteries in there. That's a recipe for disaster. But like one of these other drawers, surely. My man's turning slowly Australian. No, I can't. Uh, da -da -da. Try this one. I'm pretty sure there's no batteries in here. Like, they'd put it in the top drawer if they were going to put it anywhere. I'm worried she's going to pop up on us while we're complacent, but I also know that it's not in the code exactly. Like, there's been a, there's been like two or three times, tw twice now, that she's just like, randomly appeared right behind me, um, in a room, and I've been fucked and unable to get out, so that's kind of screwed me a couple of times, but, oh, oh, I see a battery. Whoa, battery. Well, I've got two new batteries, how many do I need for this fucking thing? Like, it doesn't look like it holds that many batteries. Maybe the battery spawn locations are random. Yeah, she spawned right behind me before, and that was fucking annoying. Yeah, I think the spawn, the battery spawn locations are actually random. Just double check, press right check. No, I think I may have got lucky with the batteries last time. That means I'm gonna have to randomly check like all the fucking drawers and all the fucking waste paper baskets. I've got two new batteries. I thought there would have been enough. Maybe I need three. So 
So yeah, when you said there's, there was one in the bureau here, you probably weren't wrong, but I reckon it's just randomly spawned in there. Oh my god, faces! Oh my god, it's so scary. Yeah, there's no way for batteries to actually be in here, so... Check the bin. Check the top drawers. Nothing in there. You know what makes it a little bit spookier than, than it might otherwise be? Where is she? Hello? Woman? Where are you? Don't make me use my growly voice. I'll do it. She's probably in the um, janitor's cupboard. Having a randomly spawn is perhaps not the smartest idea. Look, I'm looking right at her. There we go. I think if you don't mouse over her, she doesn't, she doesn't trigger. Even in the PC monitor room, you're missing a drawer at the end of the, end of the one, table near the door. No, you, that's that that seems to be a bug. Um, you can't actually open those; they don't trigger at all. I think she's ran into a wall. I think a path one is not the best. I can probably show you actually. Because she's so fucking stupid. Yep, there she is. I can actually see her not moving. So this um, this drawer here. Make sure I don't get super duper snuck up on. Yeah, she's stuck at the wall. <laughs> so yeah, this drawer here doesn't seem to trigger. I can't actually open anything in it. Close this door. Yeah, she's stuck at the wall. Um, see, I, I, it doesn't, I don't get any mouse over stuff for it. So I can't actually get in there. I've tried it so many times. She moving yet? Now she's moving. There we go. Hide under the table here. Or under here. Ah, oh, behind! Oh, she's through the fucking wall! What bullshit is this? I mean, I know she's a ghost, but that's cheating. Yeah, I've tried it like a bunch of times thinking I was just like glitched out, but no, it just seems to be fucked. I think it's like they, they forgot to do that one or something, so. No, no batteries on y'all. I'm not even going to bother checking all the drawers. No batteries here, just for funsies? Nope. So I'm guessing that the used batteries you can't use because they've used. Oh, ooh, a trap. Okay, so I have three brand new batteries now. Can I use the torch? Who knows? Is that a ghost going through walls? What is this shit? Fuck me. She's coming thick and fast now. Ryo! You in the thing? Nope. I think she's right at the other end of the hallway because it's not. When she gets close, it gets really grainy. Maybe she's over here. Uh, nope. I'm not even going to trigger her. I'm just going to go and keep looking. Fuck her. I'm probably not going to get find batteries up in here because... Oh, actually, fuck it. Who knows? Everything's random. She could be anywhere. Maybe she was opening the drawers earlier, or the cupboards, to try and find me a battery. She's like, look at all the cupboards! Check Robert's desk drawer for the key every so often. Okay, I'll try that. As soon as we, um, maybe it's in the, cup in the fridge? Nope. There's a can of what looks like, I'm guessing it's Coke, some sort of fizzy drink. Majolk in the fridge door. The lack of promised land, exactly. Exactly. I think I have three or four batteries that should be there. <laughs> there's no such thing as a quick try through of this. There's lots of crashing, there's lots of frustration, there's lots of swearing, lots of go lots of 
There's a lot of it. Yeah, they've essentially turned a 10 minute experience into a into a 4 to 6 hour epic saga. Purely because of all the crashing and the glitching and the and the bugs. No key. I'm guessing I still need another one or there's something else I have to do. Check in here, nope. Uh, Alright, I'm going to go and check my own drawers. Maybe they don't spawn if I have a door's open. Nope, not in here. None for you! reading the chat. I haven't read it for a little bit. <gasps> Lion Man plays 40k. I used to play 40k. I say used to. It was like literally 20 years ago. That makes me feel old. Thought I'd just try the door just in case. I accidentally picked up a key and hadn't realised. I'm always afraid that when, I'm, when I walk into a room that she's going to be like standing right fucking behind me. See if she glitches through the through the wall. Yep, she did. Oh yeah, I'll start opening the drawers because it's taking so long. I might just be missing them. I mean, it also there's like I think there's only ever one battery that spawns at a time, and you've got to go through the entire process checking it every single fucking time. Dun, dun. I'm still dropping frames. I have my computer set to potato quality and it's just ass. Ass, I tell you. Hang on. I'm going to alt tab very quickly. Just double check and make sure I don't have VPN running. I do not. As we were. Bong, bong. I think she's next door. Sounds like she's stalled. <laughs> so look at the texture on the chair. It's got those little little circle, like little half circle things. They look almost exactly like the little half circles that appear. You probably can't see them, especially not the potato quality you're watching now. Um, little little circles that appear on the screen during the the you know the fuzzy screen overlay texture. <laughs> it was on the interrent. It's over! You cannot win this game, I'm convinced of it. It just crashes before the end. Fuck this shit. We're doing Rocket League unboxing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh, you cannot actually win this game. It's fucked. It's broken. It crashes far too often. Okay, so rather than doing that, we're going to do some Rocky Week unboxing. How many... Do I have any... I've got three keys left. I have to buy some more. Uh, how many do I have? I've got like fucking... Hang on. How many of these things do I actually have? I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14, 21, 20. 2, 3, 4, 5. I've got 25 boxes to decrate. I've got 3 keys already. Fuck, it's gonna be 20 bucks. 20 bucks! You're fucking kidding! 20 bucks! Fuck it. Uh, yeah. Hang on, I better go the. I better just turn that off in case it shows something it's not supposed to show. There we go. Add funds! PayPal. I'm pretty sure it actually doesn't show anything interesting at all, but just in case. And... Waiting, waiting, waiting. Done. Alright, here we go. No, no, continue transaction. Fuck. 
Authorize. Ka-chong! Alright, there we go. Okay, so I'll turn this back on. Whoop. Okay, I now have keys. I've got almost enough keys to open all the fucking crates I've got. <sighs> um, Alright, well, let's start. Bonk. So, I still haven't got... This is the uh, Champions Crate 1. I've got six of these. I still haven't got the Takumi RXT, which is the one I really want, or any, or... I think I've got... No, actually, I don't have those either. So, any of these I would like. So, go! I might turn the sound up in a little bit. It's not really loud. I'm going to get shitty skin, aren't I? I, I can't get any Mystery Universal decal. No, I get snake skin. You know, for the Dominus, that car that I don't use. So I'm just going to turn this sound up a little bit. Because it's not very loud. Whoop. I don't know if that'll actually make it any louder. Uh, use key. Is that very loud? It doesn't seem very loud. Dot matrix. Very rare animated decal. Oh, I haven't actually got that one. That's actually relatively interesting. Is it for the Dominus, or is it for... I'm pretty sure it, for it's for the fucking... Fuck! Another one that I can't use. Fantastic. Alright. Use key. I really want to get the Takumi RXT, but the chances of me getting it are fairly slim. Another shitty skin that I don't want. At least I can actually, like, bunch them together and hopefully get something that I, I do actually want. See, I get all this shit for the Dominus. If I had Dominus, I'd be rolling in it right now. Uh, use key. So there is actually a couple of things in there for the car that I use, but... Oh, there we go. Uh, another shitty skin. This is really just Disappointment Simulator, isn't it? Can earn keys during gameplay too. They aren't as bad. Uh, no, you can't earn keys during key during gameplay. You can earn like skins and shit. But oh come on, I want the looper. I get that. No oh, fucking skins again. Oh. Yeah, you can. You earn the crates during games. You don't earn the. You don't earn keys during games. Please be something decent. Oh, I got a decal for the act for a car I actually use. I mean, I didn't want it, but I've got it. I think I've actually already got this one, but never mind. At least I've got something. All right, we've got two champions crates here. I've already got the polygonal, the pixel fire. I don't want either of those. I've got the lightning. So there's actually almost nothing here that I want. Oh, the octane distortion I would actually take, but apart from that, not really. I might unlock one of these and leave, leave the rest for the, all the, the level 3 ones. A very rare animated decal. I mean, at least when you, when you get, when you unlock this shit, you can actually trade them in for shit that you would actually, you, you know, you would actually like. So, I'll leave one of the champion's crates too and start on the 3s. Okay, so, Hypernova's the one I've got. Dark Matter I'm pretty sure I've already got. I wouldn't mind those wheels, or the discotheque, or a mystery decal. So yeah, there's not actually not that much here that I really, really want. Like either, any of the wheels, I would take. But apart from that, not so much. Oh, distortion! Distortion! No! Oh, fuck! Oh, so close. I actually already got a distortion, but I accidentally sold it. I mean, traded it, not sold it. Let's spin the wheel of fortune and see what we don't get. Yes. If you want to feel better about yourself, watch me open up some crates. Look, there's a wheel that I would like. Instead, I got the Dominus fucking Mondo skin that I don't use. Like I said, if I had a Dominus, I, I'd be rolling in it. <sighs> Look.
Look, another shitty skin that I can't use. Yay! This is actually this is this is disappointment stream. Guess you're gonna need a dominant. I've already got one. I don't. I start, I don't. I don't drive it. I drive the Takumi. Like it's, uh, in Rocket League, you pretty much pick a car and then go. I do the same fucking skin again. You pick a car and go. Yep, that's the car I'm gonna use. And you, I've changed cars three times in a year, or more than a year, probably eighteen months actually. Like I've, I started off using the, I can't remember what it's called. It's like the hot rod one, and then I changed to. No, I started off with something else, and then went to the hot rod one, whichever that, whatever the fuck that's called. That same skin again, fuck. And then went to the one I have now, the Takumi, and I've had that ever since. I, I occasionally I'll dabble with other cars. Like I I went to the Back to the Future car, the the whatever it is, the DeLorean, for a little while. Um, there was another one that I that I used for a little bit. I think it was the Batman car I used for a little bit, but you, I always end up coming back to the Takumi because it's it's easier. Yay! More more Dominus stuff. Are the cars any different to each other outside looking different? Well, there's some consternation about that. The the developers say that there is actually no difference between the cars whatsoever, apart from the size. Like they they have their own like each car has its own um, like uh, hitbox, but it's essentially just a, just a rectangular box. So the biggest one is probably like the Merc or that that big van one. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but in, ter uh, the, in terms of speed, aerodynamics, whatever, apparently there's no difference. But ha people have sort of done videos where they've gone, look, it's, this is clearly different. I've done exactly the same thing twice and got different results with two different cars. So. All right, da Dark Matter. If only I had didn't have that already. Yay. Eight keys left. So, yeah. I actually, yesterday, I started using the keyboard and mouse because I realised that I think they'd updated it recently so that you can actually use the mouse to do um, change the the is it the pitch where you can like that imagine that's the car and you can I started using that and it's been I was doing okay I was actually I was yeah doing okay I think with the new update yet there was a new update yesterday a really big one and a lot of people were online so I think there's a lot of noobs online or a lot of you know lower lower level players and I was just wrecking face absolutely wrecking them like at one stage I scored like six goals in one game which is not unheard of but it doesn't happen very often so I have not got anything I wanted literally I think I got one thing that I could use on my car and I'm pretty sure I already had it I didn't get I think I need wheels and nothing I got that Mondo skin again Pitches up, down, ro roll. That's what I meant. Roll, roll. Five keys left. Five rolls of disappointment. That's what I should call this series. I should just like buy a bunch of um, keys and just like keep doing it and just call the stream the rolls of disappointment. Look, hypernova. Oh, turbo. For the breakout again. Another car I don't use. Four keys left. The disappointment is almost over, people. Vince is off. I shall. Uh, I'll see you on Monday, Vince. I should be streaming on Monday, I think. Or I might. If I do, actually, if I do stream, it might be late in the morning. The number of times I've got this fucking skin, the Octane Shiza skin. Jesus. Dear, oh dear, dear, oh dear. Need to be sharp as attack. I don't think I've ever been sharp as attack. Oh, the Fauchon skin. That'll come in handy. Oh, it was like great free to yes, fee to pay. I've got like I've literally got nothing. I have I keep getting the same fucking skins over and over. I had to write to Sionics and say. Spent 20 bucks, got nothing I wanted. It's 20 rolls, got nothing. Nothing. Yeah, Rocket League costs money to buy. I think it's like 20 bucks, 25 bucks or something. And the Mondo skin, again, just to add, just to rub salt into that 
gaping wound. <sighs> well, the only solace I can take from this is that I can now trade them for something that I would actually fucking want. So let's go manage inventory again. So I can't trade that. I can, oh, I can't trade any of this shit for six days. Fuck. I forgot about that. Okay, well, what else have I got that I can trade? All this stuff is six days. Shit balls. I can't trade any of that because I don't have enough of them. Oh, I got a, oh, I got a whole heap of shit here to trade. Okay. I kind of like that baseball hat. I might keep that. I'm sure I'll get it again. Oh, the Zeta rear wheel, the rear wheels. Actually, I don't think I actually had those. Um, I'll sell one of these. The breakout dot matrix. Is that for the Takumi? No, that's for the breakout. Fuck it. I've got an I've got a Nuba skin for my Takumi, but I'll never use it, so I might as well trade it in. <gasps> oh! I finally got the fucking car I've been waiting for for so long. Oh, 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 and it's ugly. Oh, it's ugly. Oh, it's so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been waiting for this car for so long. Okay, let's see if we can customize it and make it a bit less fugly. I mean, I would use this just to be just so that I could fucking say that I had it. Um. Was a lady on top. That animated skin doesn't really work on that fucking. Oh, it's ugly. It's so ugly. I might need to do some re. re skinning. Rocket! I don't like any of the skins. I don't even like the, the Paragon fucking slipstream skin that I've got. To be honest, it's not that nice. Are oh, there actually sunglasses, that 2017 thing? Okay. Um, well, fuck. It's a really... I mean, like, look at this car compared to the regular one. Like, which would you have? Like, that or that? It's so ugly. I wanted it just because it was, like, import and cool. But now I'm looking at it going, I kind of like my car more. Would you consider playing Metro 2033 or Last Light when you get on chocolate internet? Yeah. I'm going to play a lot more first person games and a lot more Rocket League um, when I get non potato internet. You know, in 2053. Uh, no, I'm going to stick with the regular one. It's too ugly. It's just too ugly. Well, at least I got something that I wanted, even though it turned out that it was ugly. How come that combo doesn't show up? When I go to fucking... Fuck it. Um, okay. Where are all those bloody Dominus skins that I had? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's fucking... For some reason, these hearts, one of them I can't trade in. Try this. No, that doesn't work. One, two, three, four, five. All the toon smokes. Nope, can't do that either. Maybe it's just hang on, try those two, one of those, and that. No, it won't let me trade it in. One, two, three, four, five. I think this is like lowest level fucking things to trade in. Oh wow, a clamshell. What else have we got? Two. Yeah, I've got four skins of those, but nothing I can actually trade. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I may actually have enough now that I can... Oh, shit, look at all these. Fucking hell. Oh, I can't trade any of them. That's right. Well, shit. Two, three, four, five. Oh wow, that that thing that I already have that I've already gotten. Fuck. Okay, um party hats. One, two, three, four, five. Done. I'm getting all the stuff now that I've already I I just already have. 
Yep, cat's ears. I've got a thousand of those. Well, actually, I don't because I sold them all, but I've had a thousand of those. Yeah, do, 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 do. I can't trade Santa hat in. Pigeon. Do, 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 do. wheels they're ugly it's weird the um the, the classes the different things it's like it none like none of these are actually like equal and so much can't be traded with other stuff two three four five that'll look okay well I think that'll just about do that for fucking skin trading I might change my topper. I changed it yesterday to 2017, and it was kind of cool at the time, but I'm now I'm like, eh. I scored 16 goals with it yesterday. What topper should I have? I always have pixelated shades. They're my default ones. So... I'd be, I'd be happier if they just, like, like, if they actually dropped down during game. Be like, yeah, but they don't. Okay, well that's the uh, that was the unboxing, deboxing, decrating, decrating stream. All right, what are we gonna do next? Um, we've got a little bit of time. I hadn't really. I'm gonna get rid of this fucking one late night shortcut bullshit. Like, gone, gone. Um, what can we do? Let's look through our list. Where is my Steam list? Steam, where are you? Fuck, I think I'll close it. Oh, there it is. We'll sit separately. Um, we can play armor and our cute. We can't play armor. Beholder, big sc no. Sc City skylines, Deus Ex, John Bradman cricket, event zero, Gary's mod, Half Life. You know what? I think it's time for more Euro trucks. I've executive decision the fuck out of it, and I've decided Euro trucks. Because then I can just sit here and talk and not really have to think too much. Hello! Also, we just got a new truck, so that's exciting. Look at this! Look at, look at, look, look at this! Look at this fucking thing here. This is dodgy programming, ladies and gentlemen. What it is, is they think that the because the... Um, the uh, start menu is going to be like, you know, the, the taskbar is going to be across there. They don't have to render it. I was like, well, my taskbar isn't there. I put it on another screen. So now, get fucked. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, yes. Our lovely pink new truck. New pink truck. Look at that. That mighty Volvo. Mighty pink Volvo. Let's look on the jobs market and see if we can do a big, a big long, big long route. So we start in Hungary, go through Austria, Germany, the Netherlands, to the UK. Oh, that's right. I got to fucking drive. Oh shit! Hang on, hang on, hang on. I may have. Yeah. 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 Ooh. See, I've got to drive there and then turn around and drive back again. It would be really fast because I am in my truck without a fig on the back. But I think I would rather. Let's just look at what jobs we have. Let's see if I can find a job that's actually in where I am. Uh, freight market. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm starting in Hungary, but I'm actually over here. I'm doing the same one I just did, but like I'm I'm already at the other end. Um, that loop. Perfect. I might turn the sound up. It's not very loud. Is it just me, or is it just not not very loud? I might just turn it up. The desktop audio in here, and then turn it up in my evil holes. Have I opened Euro Truck Sim twice? It's, it's appearing twice in my... I think I have started twice. How did that happen? Hey, TJ!
It is running twice. Or is it? No, it's not. It has two windows for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Um, yeah, I congratulated TJ the other day because he had a, uh, let's call it a life, I don't know if he wants everyone to know, uh, a life achievement. So, he was, uh, I congratulated him and he was all like, yeah, Um, where is, am I, where I'm, hang on, hang on, where am I supposed to go? i got to pick up the load first. Where's the map? Oh, I'm over in Swansea and I've got to get to Felixstowe. Okay, cool. That's right. I'm just going to drive across the across the UK. It's fine. Just across the UK. It'll take no time whatsoever. And I think I'm on the wrong side of the road. I think I'm pretty sure I am actually. This side. Oh, maybe this is the wrong side of the road. Oh well, I'll soon find out. Fuck it. No, I'm all good. Games are really too loud for me. Yeah, I normally have them really quiet, but uh, like I've noticed in some of the streams that they're actually too quiet. Apparently, Lion Man's going to try something. Uh, I think it's it could be anal sex. Let's assume it's anal, anal sex. Man, this truck is fast when you don't have a load on the back. I'm already doing over 100 clicks. Stories which you got going to. Yes. Oh, my truck's damaged. I forgot about that. Shit. Um, I should probably repair it before I go any further. Let me go. To, uh, hang on. Maybe there's a. Hang on, just pull over here. If I click on this, I'm looking for a repair center. Map. Oh, it doesn't show repair centers. Shit. Oh, yes, it does. I just gotta zoom in. Ha! There's a bulldozer place there. Um, it doesn't. I don't think it actually shows repair places. Well, unless there are none. There must be one, surely. Steinbrook, Brooch, Brook, Brook. I'm just looking along my route to see if there's any repair places I could repair. There, right there, in the middle of London. I'm going to set my alternate GPS to there. Go! Oh, TJ took the day off today. A large screw lodged in my tire and took it in to get it removed and attached. Your rubber got screwed. <laughs> Poor TJ. Was that in the legacy, TJ? In the leggy? So, um, okay, yeah, uh, armor videos. So, I had, um, I've actually got an armor video, video ready to go. Um, it was, it was me and, um, Renzol and Gary's playing MMG. We actually do a really good job. I'm, I'm, I'm on the gun, so it's kind of cool. And it all comes down to a, like a really, a, like a, a, a shootout in town, like in this, uh, in this really big sort of open area. So, um, yeah, it's a really cool, cool mission, so I'm, I'm excited to upload it. So, I'm going to try and do it tonight. Uh, what's today? Friday? Yeah, I'm going to try and do it tonight. Um, it's not a particularly big video. Like, it's about like 1.8 gig or something. And it's only like 15 minutes long, so... It shouldn't take too long to upload hundred and sixty clicks man I'm tanking 162 I think this might be the fastest I've ever been in my truck 
and it's damaged. Maybe that doesn't affect, affect the speed at all. 163. Man, I move it. Now, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to turn here. I might just double check. Nope, that wasn't what I wanted. Why is that selected? Can I get rid of that? I've, I've accidentally set extra waypoints and I didn't realise. There we go. Okay, so that's better. Yep, in the leggy. Did you get it like this morning, TJ? Or was it like, did you pick it up yesterday, didn't notice, drove it home, and then got out this morning and you had a flat tyre? That's, that's how I usually get my flat tyres. Yeah, you probably actually... Oh, oh goddammit. Oh, well, fuck it, it's going to get fixed anyway. Um, remind you, I've loaded Discord. Remind me in about, like, 14 hours. Because that's round about when I'll be going to bed. good in RPGs. Um, speaking of RPGs, we're doing D&D &D this weekend, although we're doing it a little bit differently than we normally do. Normally we go to Fotis' place and then play like an on a Friday or Saturday night from like 7 or 8 o'clock till 1 or 2, like you know, 12 or 1 in the morning. Um, oh, we're actually playing during the day on a Saturday. So that'll be fun. Do I play during the day before? Now I've got a big tight turn. I've got my free screw at the local hardware store picky parking lot on my birthday. I noticed it on Tuesday night when I was picking up my wife from her night class at the airport today. Oh, okay. Do you have to book it in? Like down here, you basically just turn up with a with a busted tire and they go, yeah, okay. Stick on the lift for you. But actually, no, actually, I guess I would like but I've also just turned up and gone, can you fix my tyre? And they're like, yeah, okay. I'm going the wrong way. How did that happen? The fuck? Damn it. Can I make my way from here? No, I'm going very much the wrong direction. <laughs> Good one, Zenon. You spanner. I'm driving to the repair place so I can drive to the place so I can pick up my trailer so I can do my long round. So this is going to take a while. Okay, I need to find somebody to turn around. Yeah, oh dear. Right, I haven't dropped any frames for a little while, so I'm going to try turning the potato quality video back up to, like, normal potato quality. Rather than potato spread. If it starts dropping frames, somebody yell out in, in chat. In caps, chat, prefer preferably. With lots of stars. Be like, oh my god! Drop frames! Yes, I'm doing it in a truck that is fabulous. Oh, there Perfect. Everyone, stop. I'm turning the fuck around. No oh, shit. Just want to get, go and get this truck fixed because I'm running into everything. Come on. Here we go. What else has been going on? Um, so... My channel's doing okay at the moment. It very much hinges on how often I upload armor videos. Like, what that one armor video I did of the logistics mission with me, actually me and TJ, uh, where we died, where we almost died at the end. Um, that went really well. That was like, I had like, I've had like twice as many views for that as I do on my regular videos, like my regular armor videos. So I was pretty stoked about that. People love logistics missions. I don't know what it is. Um, I think they'll like this MMG mission because it's something a little bit different. They tend to... The videos where I'm just like a regular grunt in a squad, unless it's particularly funny, they don't tend to do that well. I mean, they don't do badly, they just don't do as well as, say, the logistics missions do, or they, um... Or, you know, like the special... special slots missions. So... I think they should like... They should, should enjoy the MMG one. So yeah, my, my channel sort of subs and uh, views and revenue seem to largely hinge on armor videos and how often I put them out and how am I supposed to turn? Oh, here, right here. Here we go. This is what I missed earlier. 
going to London, yo. And I'm about to run into that guardrail, yo. Okay. Um. Yeah, so basically the more armor videos I put out, the, the more views and subs and revenue I get. The problem is that, uh, like, I have the issue where if you... Am I dropping frames? I think I'm okay. I may have dropped a couple. Oh, I'm dropping frames. Fuck. Fuck balls. Shit. Poo crap sticks. I'll try 600. I suspect I'm going to drop it back down again. <sighs> um... Just learn how to fly. Like the vid the flying videos where I have done helicopters have been have actually done really well. There's a lot of pressure on you when you're flying though. That's the issue. Not kill not you know, landing, killing people and dying horribly. I don't have I don't even have my track IR attached to my my headphones anymore simply because I just I never used it because I don't fly I don't use it so it's not, I didn't have any point I've actually I'm actually thinking of selling it like to buy it new it's about 350 bucks or I think it's so much it was Australian maybe 400 bucks it was just stupidly expensive and um, I ideally like to get some of that money back because it's it's proven to be a waste of pretty much a waste of money it's it's annoying it breaks it's glitchy it's buggy Nothing about it is, is about the track IR is good. And that's what I'll put in my eBay in my eBay description. Starting price, two hundred bucks. Yeah, so the armor videos have pretty much stopped to one, like one armor video a week. I pretty much um, only have one night a week where I have the time to sit down for like four or five hours and actually just bash out a video. And even if I had more time than that, I don't really have more videos to um, to actually you know give out. So. I mean, like I do. I I'm in session once once a week. I some I occasionally, very occasionally, will get it in on a Wednesday slash Thursday session. But it's mostly it's mostly um, yeah, it's mostly one like on on Sundays is when I play. And I usually start late because I like to sleep in on on Sundays, which is not as big an issue as it used to be. They used to start at 8 a.m. Now they now start because of the time zone time zone uh, time. So time the fuck what's it called the daylight savings. I was thinking time zone savings, and I'm like that's not right. The daylight savings because of daylight savings, I can um, it actually works out better for me half the year and worse for the other half. So I'd rather I start at nine a.m. But instead, it starts at eight and ten. The time, yeah, not the time difference. It's just the daylight savings. When daylight savings changes, it changes by two hours. Like they go up an hour, we go back an hour. Lots of <sighs> Xenon is tired. What time is that? Speaking of which, uh, okay. Um, yeah, so it actually worked out well for me. But uh, even then, I, I like to sleep in, so I generally won't start. I, I generally miss the first mission, which is often a good mission to get in on because it's um, it's uh, lots of people. You know, everybody's in and everybody's like starting. Everyone's excited to play. So that's when you can tend to get the more the more interesting missions. But I usually end up missing that one um, and jumping in later. And TJ tends not to play like later on in the session, and I tend to get tired towards the end of the, end of the session. So I usually end up just playing the middle bit, like the middle two or three missions, which is like two or three missions that I can actually that I would actually be able to edit. And if they're not, if one of them or one or two of them is not interesting, then they don't get edited. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put up content just for the sake of putting up content. I'd rather put up less content that's better than, you know, shovel, shovel everything in and just go. Well, I'm just gonna do everything. Understeer, understeer, understeer. Guardrail. That real good. Oh, 
good. Fucking bank, fucking constant bank calls. When I repair my truck, I have to, I have to make some, a couple of phone calls. But that's okay. I think we're getting close to the repair place. I know it's in London, and I don't think London's that far away. I'm a button like to play player versus player missions in ST rather than co ops. And I'm the opposite. See, TJ likes to play the adversarials, and I like to play the, the co op missions. So, we're a pair. What a pair we are. Between us, we make a whole player. Uh, London in the middle lane. Middle lane it is. There we go, I haven't dropped any frames, so that's good. Still running potato quality, but not as bad potato as it was. Runs everything on Australian time. See, TJ likes hanging. Oh shit, I think I've missed my turn off. Hang on, there is another turn off just up ahead. I'm going to jump in on Yes, I have. Okay, that's alright. I can go through this turn off and go back that way. That's cool. Like, the turn off to London is like this one tiny little pissy road. <sighs> I hope there's a turn off here, otherwise, it might be actually be that one and I can't actually get off here. Oh, hang on, I might be alright. I might be alright. Here we go. Follow this truck. Oh, shit. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Man, it's gonna be expensive for a repair bill. I also really, really, really need to sleep. So I can sleep in London and hopefully sleep all day. And then, truck all night. Yeah. One of the first armor videos I watched was TJ and me. If you want to watch some, like, good content that not many people have seen, go back and, like, go back and watch the really early stuff. Like, probably skip the first, I don't know, maybe five missions. But watch, um, what was it called? I can't even remember. Like, they don't even have thumbnails. That's how old they are. This is pre-thumbnailing days. Um, go and watch... Oh, there's, there's lots of video... I mean, there's, there's a whole smorgasbord of stuff in there. There's, like, lots of, like, videos of the game and um, lots of sort of gimmick missions. The ones we're not really allowed to... Well, we are allowed to do, but we have to get permission to do now. Um... So yeah, go and watch those. They're really, they're really good. Like the mic quality wasn't good because it was before I got this this headset. But um, fuck. come on, start up again. There we go. I need to zoom in on my. I know I'm getting tired. All right, I've just driven past the. Come on, break! Jesus. I've just driven past the repair center, so I need to go around. Fuck it. Fuck this. Man. Get out of the way. Go on through. Don't care anymore. Barge my way through. Um, yeah, go watch some of the early videos. Like nobody, nobody really watches them anymore because it's so old. But there's some really good stuff in there. Me being amusing. Right, we're uh, watch out, little car, come through. Watch out, jolt truck, come through. I don't care about the recruitment agency. Give me back my GPS. Right, we're almost there. Right, I think this is it here. Oh, it's even a Volvo dealership. Sweet! Dost thou do repairs? I think they do it for the S over here. Perfect. I've brought my Volvo back home. This is where I would have bought it from, actually, probably. I need many repairs. What dost thou do to repair? It's all chassis damage. Damn. It's like cost me like 30 grand. Try and hit 20 YouTube bucks. Like, uh, people still do watch them, but. Compared, like, the amount of content, like, at one stage, I was actually doing five videos a week. Um, now I'm doing one, and, it, like, the last two weeks I haven't even done one, so. There's a bunch of old content on there. I mean, I've got, like, five, I think I'm a bit over 500 videos now. A lot of them are stream videos, but there's also, um, a fair amount of, um, I keep saying um, because I'm driving and trying to think of what I'm going to say next. There's a fair amount of old, just old content where, like, TJ will be in some of them. Like, uh, Arcarius was in a lot of them before he left. But yeah, they don't, I don't think they really show up in, um, in, like, if you do a, if you do, like, they won't show up in a YouTube feed, most likely, because they're not new, they're like, 
four years old. Come on, get out of the way, car. Light's green, doesn't get any greener. Oh, you idiot. I keep going around. Barge my way through. Yeah, so unless you search specifically for it, or just go to my channel and then just like search, you know, order by oldest. Yeah, at one stage I was doing five videos a week, I'd just sit down every night and do a video. That was back in the 720p days. Much like streams are now. I'm lucky. <sighs> right, so I've repaired my truck. Now I need to go and find somewhere to sleep. I just paid something for the day. productive during that time. So I only monetized my videos about, actually probably about six months ago, I think. Maybe six months ago. And I did it mostly because I knew that I was never going to make a lot of money, at least especially as, you know, this early. I knew I was never going to make a lot of money from it, but um, I figured it was, it was time. I'd always been against monetizing videos for so long. I'm just like, I'm not going to make any money for it. What's the, what's the point? But yeah, I think it will. At the same time, I'm like, uh, I've got to, I've got to try and like, if I want to make the YouTube thing work and eventually maybe make it a, a full-time job, I've got to start monetizing videos. Lost frames. <laughs> See, I noticed that because of the flames. Lost flames. No, there isn't. Three thousand two hundred sixty-five. That's what it was on last time. I looked like five minutes ago. I think you might have a problem with the original. Who even got the oldest? ST videos. Is that a question? I don't understand the question. Uh, yeah, well, in that case, yeah, I guess it's dyslexia. Because he's been there the longest. But I don't want to say for certain. Oh, shit, I was supposed to turn off the park balls. Can I do a Yui? Like a sneaky Yui around here? Watch out, car. Here we go. Sneaky Yui. Fire's out. <laughs> oh, I think I damaged my car. Shit. Come on. Oh, I wonder if I can get across here or whether I'm going to be driving forever in the wrong lane. Probably forever in the wrong lane. Oh, that's lovely. You can't see it because it's all pixels, but, you know, it looks nice out there. I just seeing this coming the other direction. 130 clicks. I'm starting to I'm starting to black out now. That's not good. Oh, 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 Pull over. Perfect. Perfect. Stop. Uh, yeah, just actually found a desk, uh, Shack Tech back in 2006, I think. I think I wouldn't quite run anything history based. Right, we're gonna have a snooze during the day. Have to sleep through most of the day. Oh, uh, I only slept till 3 o'clock. I thought I was more tired than, I, than that, but okay. Alright, so we still need to get across the road. Who found a Wii Play? Uh, Keegs and I talked about it for probably. Probably about a month before we actually came up with the name We Play. Well, we were talking about like we wanted to do some sort of play on Let's Play. So um, we ended up on We Play because there was a bunch of us, and there was like there's about six of us. I mean, in, in in actuality, there's actually about six of us. There's me, Keegs, Pugs, um, Fotus. Nate Dog. And technically Ripple, although he hasn't really, hasn't really been in any of the, hasn't really played recently. You got a girlfriend in life. You know what happens there? Everything else goes to shit. So yeah, there's, I mean, there's six of us in in total. But Keeks and I are the only ones that really put out any content of it like regularly. The other guys just sort of drop in and play games and sort of participate in streams. Come on, car, get out of the way. Here we go. 
Um, Milky, yes, I guess. Um, more recently, has I mean, she really only does the podcast and she doesn't brand any of her stuff as we play. But yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I'm seventh member. First video of yours I watched was uploaded was It's a Democracy. I don't even remember that video. You'll have to jog my memory as to what actually happened. I vaguely remember making the title, but I don't actually remember the video. Hearing clunking going on out the front of the front of the house. <laughs> oh shit! Crap! I keep forgetting that I this is my truck. I I can't keep treating it like a bloody rental. Uh yeah. So what were we talking about? We play. Uh yeah. So that was founded about two years ago, I think, roughly. I think it was it sort of it sort of centered around the idea of wanting to do a podcast. Like Kicks and I want to do a gaming podcast, not so much because we know a lot about games or we um, we're you know part of the industry or anything like that. Um, more because we just we wanted to sort of sit down and talk and talk about games basically. Um, and Kicks and I sort of we were friends through my brother Fotis, um, and we we played games together before, but I sort of like I, I messaged him one day and said, "Do you want to do a a podcast?" Um, and I think Fotis was going to do it as well, but because of his work schedule, we pretty like we we don't start streaming until at like nine p.m. and we usually go to eleven or twelve at night, and he has to get up at five, so um, it makes his schedule fucking hell. God, just like rolling roadblock, get out of the way. Here's a horn. Wait a minute, we got a better horn. Get out of the way. I'm gonna barge my way through. Yes, there we go. Right, I'm almost there to pick up my my trailer load. Car coming, but fuck him. Hey, you're leading a you were leading a squad. I don't, I don't remember. I just remember because you got loaded after I subbed. Oh, okay. I mean, you sub you subbed to me first and then watched the video. That's weird. I mean, I thank you for it, but it's still weird. Do I need to go in here? I think. Let me just zoom in on my duvalaka. I don't think I do. Or do I? I don't even know. The thing is telling me fuck all. Turn around. I'll go back on the road. I think I am supposed to go in there. My little red line's disappearing behind me now. Probably just. Probably just. No, I'm not gonna be able to turn around in there. Fuck, look at all these trucks. Holy shit. Can I back up? Back up on the path. Back up. Yes. Check. Wait, what's up first? What's that? First. Oh, okay. the one that I was... No, that's not it. That's not it either. Where are they? Hang on. Let me just check the map. So where was I supposed to go? Didn't I have a job to do? Freight market. I thought I had... There was one going to Poland. It was a really long one. So that one's going to France. I don't want to go to France. I don't really want to go to Germany either. Hell. I'm not entirely sure. Like, if you don't have the the stuff sort of ready done for you, it's it's a little bit difficult. See, that's one's like set GPS as destination. Like, this is the destination. Maybe I have to get on the. Hang on, let's do it. 
Maybe also the job has expired. Maybe it took too long. Look at me now. But what in your live stream chat? Yes, indeed you are. Well done. So I look at some other. Oh shit. I look at some other YouTubers and I'm like, should I like? Is my growth the growth of my channel? Is that is like is it okay? I guess doing armor videos, you're never going to make a really huge um, following unless you're particularly funny, which kind of counts me out. Um, but I'm just like every now and again, like once every couple of years maybe, I'll get a video that's like really, well, by my standards, really popular. I've had three, I think, um, in the entire time that I've been doing Shack Deck stuff. One of them got like 30,000 views. Um, one, the first logistics mission that I did had like 17 or 18,000 views on it. So, uh, they're the sort of like missions that I, like the, the sort of videos I need to upload more of. Just always, like you're always trying to learn about what, what needs to be done, like what you need to do better. Um, yeah. Whoa. No, I'm just going to take one of these. I'll take one of the short ones and then we'll go from there. Came for the armor, stay for the bands. Yeah, and if I like, like if I upload a video that isn't armor related, I'll get maybe one tenth the views that the armor stuff does. Um, it's sort of, tr it's trending upwards, but it's not trending a lot upwards. So. Right, so I need to pick up that trailer there. Yeah, exactly. The armor is pretty niche. But then you've got to do what you actually enjoy doing. Because if you try and do a. try and sort of fake it with videos that you don't. you're not really interested in, then you're going to have a bad time. Crap, I need to turn around now. I guess we have to go back to the. wherever the fucking thing is. The. the ferry. The channel tunnel. Came for the boob, stayed for the brains. This boob. Man boobs. <sighs> yeah, so I mean, I'd like to spend um, money and more time on on my um, my channel. I mean, I'd like to make it a full time job, but it's like if I sat down and started doing it full time and put money and effort and time into it. It would take years before it actually become go get to a point where I could actually like even break even, you know, in terms of actually being able to pay myself a wage. And I don't have years worth of money to sit around and and do nothing. And I'm like, well, maybe I should do a Patreon. And I'm like, I don't have enough subs to do a Patreon. If people aren't that interested. Like I saw um, Jesse Cox did a Patreon a little while ago, like six months ago or a year ago, or something like that. And he's um, like, you know, fairly A level YouTuber. Um, and he's getting like about 10 grand US a month through Patreon, plus all the money he would make from, you know, ads from videos and what have you. Um, and I feel like at a minimum, I would need something around like four grand a month, like a grand a week just to sort of exist on and like pay for video, uh, pay for like advertising, pay for, you know, computer upgrades, pay for all that sort of stuff. So... Yeah, I mean, the chances of me getting that amount of money without having... I mean, like, I'd need sort of probably 10 to 100 times the amount of subs that I have currently. I mean, I, I, I do okay. Like, I get out, like, an extra probably 20 to 50 subs a month. But at current at the current rate, it's a bit of a slow process. system supporting the already popular Talbans even more. See, I like I watched uh, a thing on Rob As of all people um, talking about it, new algorithms, and he seems to think it'll actually support um, the smaller channels more. Um, but I don't know. Like the way the thing is, the stupid thing is that the way that people view videos and find videos is not the way that I find videos. So I really have no idea how people. I've got no real experience about how people actually find videos and find channels and stuff like that. I mean, I guess it's through other channels. So, 
Yeah, I mean, I, like, I could try and do some explosive growth, like, actually, like, put, like, throw money at advertising, um, throw time and time into, you know, doing it. But at the same time, um, I think I'd rather let it happen organ organically. I'd rather have a video that's really popular, like, gets, like, you know, tens of thousands or more views. Fuck it. Really slow ass car. Move it. If he breaks suddenly, I'm going to wear him. I'll have a new, new bonnet ornament. Yeah, so. Oh, god damn it, there's a car there. Sorry. Promotes more based on likes and comments now. The problems with smaller channels don't get much of that anyway. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think the way, if you if you really want to grow your, ch your channel sort of organically, you have to do collaborations. That's what pretty much every successful YouTuber has said. They said if you want more, if you want to get a wider audience and get access to a wider audience, do a collaboration because then you can get access to an audience that isn't your own. Um, and you, you know, it, it's 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 a win-win for both both parties. You want two channels that are basically the same size, similar sort of interests, but don't have a huge crossover in terms of actual subscription, uh, in terms of actual subs. So collaborations are the way to go. Um, unfortunately, I live in Australia, where there are not a lot of YouTubers, so I don't get a chance to organically meet other YouTubers a lot. Um, I've, I've joined a bunch of, sort of Australian YouTuber channels, but I mean they all live in other parts of the other parts of the world, other parts of the world, other parts of the country. So, buddy Callum's playing GTA instead of fucking being here moderating the chat. What a what a weak prick. Also frames. Nope, 3,265. I've exactly I've dropped the exact amount of frames that I had 10 minutes ago. And do you want a massive number of subs that spend maybe a minute or a week, week browsing your... Oh shit, I was supposed to get off there. I was reading text, text chat. Can I get a... Oh, no, I'm not going to get up there with that. <laughs> I was like, what if I can get up there with the trailer? No, no, no. Um, do you want people interested in the content itself? Well, that's a funny thing because I've seen a lot of channels that have like maybe a thousand thousand subs or you know 1500 subs 2000 subs or less that have videos with millions of views and I'm like well the thing is with with subs if you sub you get notifications of new videos which brings people back it's like it's the whole engagement thing like if you if like subs are always good but they're not an indicator of success so um, if, you, if you want a long-term channel that's like sustainable definitely want subscribers so oh god I can't get off here can I hang on I can go this way so I mean subs are not the be all and end all I mean watch time really is the be all and end all because that's what pays the pays you the money um, but at the same time like you could have like say you had a really small channel but you had one really good video but it's one of those videos where people aren't that interested in like, I've seen, you know, there's a lot of videos I watch, especially like dash cam videos and videos like that, or videos that are re-uploads of other videos or, or something like that, and produce sort of no real content of their own, but they uh, have content on their channel that is interesting. That essentially means that people will go there, watch the video, and then click off and watch something else, because they're not interested in you or anything you have to say, or even the content of your channel, they just wanted to watch that one video. Is that actually, is that a wall? It is a wall. They're just interested in the content. Um, they're not interested in the content of your channel. They're interested in that one particular video, which is why that video has a lot of hits, but they have fuck all subs. So that's that's not the way to build uh, a channel. TJ says, I've always seen some channels get a sponsorship from a company and a YouTuber does giveaways. If people sub, like, and comment, I've seen rank up that way yeah I mean I could give away stuff but like what would I I mean what PC PC gear I mean I could um, thing is though like with smaller channels it's unlikely to happen I'm going in the wrong bloody direction I knew I was going in the wrong direction I'll be waiting to try and get across so I could turn around it's not happening stuck on the M11 Callum was here to give directions. Yeah, so um, 
I yeah, I don't think that's a way to, to, to build a sustainable channel uh, by having just not having your own content. Like I've seen a lot of dash cam like I've been watching a lot of dash cam websites and they're all like it's all content from other people or other YouTube channels that they've basically stolen. Or some sometimes it's like dash cam stuff that they've other people have sent in. But um, they don't have a big following because people aren't there to watch them. They're producing no actual real original content. They're just regurgitating other people's content. And which makes, I mean, I didn't want to sub to any of them. I can just, e just as easily look up one of the other hundred channels that have dash cam videos on them. King says, I'm late. Start again. Fuck, I can't get off here. There is no, I can't get across. There is no gap in the rails. I'm driving, I've, I've, I reckon I've driven a hundred kilometers out of my way now trying to fucking find somebody to turn around. Let me check the map. Am I at least going in the vaguely right direction? Not really. No. No, I'm not. Can I get rid of this? How do I get rid of this? Can I click on that? There we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm going exactly the wrong direction. I need to go down there and I'm heading the other way. Oh, I can take the next right and loop back around, I think. That'll loop. I do. I, I. You're doing a splendid job, Blind Man. Don't. Don't let me. Um, don't let my attitude get you down. No, I'm. I'm more thinking of like he would. Um, I was thinking more in the terms of he lives in in England and would know where to turn around. That was all. Like, man, you're not from the UK, eh? I thought you were, like, from... Actually, I don't know where you're from. You probably are from the UK. Now I feel bad. What an asshole. It's an onzy asshole. And it says, I made a decision blocking my Twitter followers if they have more than about 1,000 followers or follows. They're just there to promote their stuff, not there to... F yeah. Oh, Light Man lives in England, too. I, I got a feeling I did actually know that. Well, Light Man, you should know. Why don't you give me directions? Fuck. Um, what we're talking about YouTube. Um, yeah, Twitter. I've had to block. I actually yesterday had to mute somebody. I won't tell you who it is, but because they were just posting, they went, it wasn't even bad. It was just like they kept on posting the same sort of crap over and over. It was actually making me depressed and not want to go on Twitter. And it was just like, oh my god, the state of the world is you know is awful. It's always shit. You know that sort of thing. And I'm just like, I, it is shit, but I don't want to be constant. Like, I'm not really bombarded with this shit all the time. So I ended up muting them on Twitter. I didn't unfollow them because they are like, you know, a friend. But um, yeah, I just I I couldn't sit there and just you know watch this constant lay like fucking deluge of, of shit come through all the time. And Callum Callum hardly posts on Twitter at all. Yeah, I was digging a hole for myself, wasn't I? Never mind. Um. <laughs> there are roundabouts at every turn off here, RL, but not here. Oh, okay. I kind of figured that would be the case, but, you know. You're also compressing a massively long, a massive area into a very small amount of space, so. There we go, now we're back on track. We have to put some miles behind us to, to keep going. Cullen's always posting memes. I don't... Is he? I never see him post anything. Like, every now and again I'll see him post something like, oh yeah. But, like, I don't see him post hardly anything ever. Oh, oh, two wheels. There we go. Or whatever the equivalent. Nine wheels. An 18 wheeler. Yeah, I'm up on nine wheels. Um, yeah, I don't see... Can't post fucking anything. It's a bad worthy talk. <laughs> Some hundred fifty clicks there in the in with the trail, that's pretty good. Yeah, so Twitter I found is not that useful. Like I'm getting my my Twitter uh, follower thing has pretty much stagnated because I don't I don't go on there often enough, and I don't post often enough for people to find, I think, my content interesting. It's basically just a device for me to post when I'm about to start streaming or when there's a new video up. 
So, I mean, I've, I'd like to put on, to post more stuff on there, but I never think of it at the time. So, I wish I did. I need a, I need a, I need a social media person. Essex, going down Essex. See where, I, where, like, there's a where I live is right next to a place that's sort of equivalent of the you know the Tasmanian equivalent of Essex. Like, if you went to if you went and asked Tasmania what's the what's the shittiest place in Tasmania, they'd say. Yeah. Luckily, I live like a ten minute ride, like car ride from there. If you watched my Periscope the other day, that's where we were. I live in Crew Cheshire. Also, she told. Hundred forty-five clicks. We're moving now. Ravenswood. Raven. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's a shithole, but it's not. I don't. I don't think of, like it doesn't immediately spring to mind. Like Glorky, I. I would think would say yes. It's definitely a shithole. This car needs to get a move on. I'm doing 150 clicks and I'm about to rear end you. Come on. Fuck it out. Get plenty of horn. Move over. There we go. Now he's moved over. Some dickheads on the road yesterday. Only one guy that um, came, like, we were turning around a corner. It's a multi lane sort of um, intersection. And so there's like there's three lanes. We're sitting in there's there's like three lanes at the intersection. There's the right hand lane which can turn into this the like imagine you're in the right hand lane and you're turning right. Um, you can basically go as you turn onto the onto the new lane. There's the right hand lane and the middle lane. You can turn to either of those. So this dickhead, I'm in the middle lane, which can turn into the most the left hand most lane in the the lane that we're going into. So I've gone into the left hand lane. The guys come from the far right lane as he's turned around and cut straight across into the left hand lane straight in front of me with a trailer so he got a lot of horn like I was, I was luckily I was waiting for him to do it because I was like yeah this is about to happen I kind of see a lot of that stuff coming especially when you drive the same route a lot of the time and come around the same intersections and you see the same people make the same mistakes so yeah I'm sort of like on watch for it now so I was like I was never I was never going to hit my car but he got a lot of horn anyway also didn't indicate so, just like, woof, straight across and he's fucking full drive with his massive goddamn trailer. Denmark, that's in Sweden, right? Oh, oh, oh. So that's something I would say. My grasp of geography is not, not strong. Here we go, I'm in the overtaking lane. I'm on the M25 again. Overtaking trucks in the M25. And having a powerful truck makes this game a lot better, I must say. Like, if you're just, if you're thinking, oh, I should go and play Euro Truck Sim or American Truck Sim, first thing to do, go to the bank, get a, get as many loans out as you can, buy the most powerful truck you can, and then go from there, because driving around those shitty trucks is not much fun. Like, fucking crawling along with your 300 kilowatt polywaffle engine is not a lot of fun. Uh, what else is going on? Um, I'm considering doing a sort of a sort of State of the Union um, stream at some point soon. It'll actually be an organised thing where I uh, sort of like tell people about it beforehand, and there'll be I'll do like a like a special um, uh, layout for it. There'll be um, Q and A. I should actually do some giveaways. I, like I might go and buy some Steam games and then gift them, like maybe some indie games, and then gift them to people who are. You know, ask the best questions or get voted on some, you know, the best questions. There'll also be some, like, I want to do some interaction stuff, so there'll be, like, you know, you can post a list of questions and they'll be picked from, or I'm not entirely certain yet, but I've, I've been thinking about it for the last probably week or so. Sort of state of the channel um, address as well, and it'll be like a, kind of like an AMA type of, type of arrangement. It's advice for anything in life, yeah. Or a quiz, yeah, we could do a quiz night as well. Although mine's, I'm thinking more in terms of a, um, more in terms of um, an actual Q and A session as opposed to a competition quiz night type thing. So, 
I mean, I'd like to also, do, I mean, Keeks and I have talked about this before, we wanted to do a, um, what's that game, the game for awful people, the card game, Cards Against Humanity, we wanted to do a Cards Against Humanity stream, we were talking about it like perhaps six months ago or a year ago even, and we were, I think we were talking about doing it um, using Tabletop Simulator, or there's actually a actually a, a website you can go to that's like a Cards Against Humanity kind of rip-off with much the same sort of stuff. So we were talking about wanting to do that. I'm so thirsty. So maybe we'll do something similar to that. Hey Tex, how you doing? You've come in probably two-thirds of the way through the stream, maybe even a little bit later. Probably three-quarters of the way through the stream. We've done, um, what did we do? We did. Oh, fuck there, Jesus! This is a shitty road. Um, we did some. What was it called? One night stand. One late. Night, one late night. We did one late night, and it crashed again multiple times. I didn't crash multiple times. But I died multiple times, and then I got right to the end, and then it crashed, and then I rage quit. Uh, we did some Rocket League decrating, which was a disappointment. Um, and now we're doing some Euro Truck Sim, where I've crashed my truck multiple times. We're heading to Dover. We're taking sandwich somethings. Something to do with sandwiches, is what I recall. Yeah. Yeah, I mean anything any any like quiz night stuff that we do will be on Keith's connection because um yeah, like my connection doesn't support it. But you know, two months, twenty one days until non potato internet, maybe. Yeah, I mean, not even after 30 minutes. After 5 minutes, it was laggy as fuck. It was like, Tabletop Simulator was just... It's just... we c It doesn't work on our connections. The the physics fucks up constantly. And it, it lags out, and it's just shit. I don't know if they've, they've, they've fixed it. It's been like a year since we tried last. But, um... Yeah, it's, it hasn't been... It ha we have not had success with Tabletop Simulator, and we've tried, we've tried it multiple times. I think we've tried th uh, three separate occasions and it's fucked up every time. The same problem. So, um, I am keen to try Tabletop Simulator due to the, the possibilities that it, it, it posits, but... Yeah. A tabletop Simulator, um, it can be quite taxing simply because of the physics. Um, because of all the physics calculations and shit that it has to do. Um, if you broke it down into like a 2D sort of top-down type of thing, then yeah, it wouldn't take any at all. It would basically nothing. Um, but I think all the physics fucks it up. I think also there might be a bug in the netcode somewhere, because it, it fucks up constantly. Might do it again, like Kicks and I might give it a try, because he's on, on NPN and I'm on shitty internet. Just try it, and just like trial it for a bit and see if we can get it to work. And then eventually like we'll add another person, see if that works, and if that works we'll add another person and then it'll fuck up and go, oh yeah, we can't do it. So we might give that a try. I think it's basically just trying it again, see if they fixed any of the problems that it had, so hope it fucks thousands of miles away and still had occasional issues. We we're playing Katana a ton of pieces, so maybe it's better. Maybe it is. I mean I hope it's better. We, we were playing we weren't even playing anything hard. We we're playing a card game. I think we we're playing Uno. Still fucked. Completely fucked. And not like a little bit annoying, it was like broken. So, trucks go in this one. No, trucks don't go in this one. Shit. No trucks in this one. Crap, now I'm gonna have to like fucking swing out and coming around. Yeah, it's not so much the distance, I think it's the, the, the quality of your internet. Or not even the quality, I think it's the speed of your internet, to be honest. Maybe it's the quality, or maybe it's a netcode issue. I'm hoping it's, it was just like a problem with the software, like a netcode problem, but I suspect it's internet related. To Calais! I'm going to France. Through the Channel of France. I played Uno Aussies here from the US without issues, so maybe. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it, it might just be the fact that we have shitty internet. That might just be all it is. It might be that you're playing with guys who had NBN or cable or faster internet. And we were just had shit internet. Shit internet, we call it. I trucked that up. Ha ha ha. Half past midnight, and the boss of another organisation than 
mine is panicking via email about the office move and its logistics. Oh, yeah, how, how's the office move going? I understand that you're in uh, in charge of the, the office, office move, or you had some sort of hand in it. I have a customer of mine who, um, shit, which way do I go? This way, apparently. Okay, well, let's go this way. I have a customer of mine who changes offices literally probably once every two years. So I feel like I've just got them like settled and everything's you know, fixed, and then we move again. I'm just like, okay, like I don't mind doing it. But it's it's, but I'm, I'm good at it now. They've, they've moved offices I think four times in the past three years. So actually not even every two years. At the one stage, actually hang on, one, two, no, it'd be more than four years. It'd be like six years. So yeah, four times every in the last six years. The place they've been at now, I think they've been at for about a year, and I do, I still don't feel like they've actually really, like properly moved in. Um. Because I only see them like once every couple of months. So I do a lot of work on behalf of companies that they own or they have some sort of hand in, but I don't actually go to their office very often. So yeah, peak creek paddle experiment. Yes. And my tootsies are cold. I should have put my old man's slippers on. I'm also wearing a really thin top, although it is like, like long sleeve, but a little bit cold. It's actually quite cold here today. It's been warm the last week or so. Like, I say warm by Tasmanian standards, it's been like, you know, 15 to 20 degrees. Today, I think it, the, the estimated height of today is like 14, so it's pretty cold. During summer, that's relatively cold, even for Tasmania. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, it's summer here, but this is Tasmania, so we get the, the mildest of the summers. So even our summer, like, we don't get particularly hot. It's like, when you think of Australia, when most people think of Australia, they think of, like, the desert or um, basically just very hot, very, very, not even humid, just arid climate. Tasmania is kind of like the, the not the opposite, but it's 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 very green. It's, for, it's humid a lot of the time. It's very wet. It rains here and it's windy here a lot of the time. Whereas in Australia, with the mainland of Australia up north, it doesn't rain as much as it does here, like anywhere near as much. So we're kind of like the, the anomaly. Speaking of weather, someone said it was someone, I must have been someone American. I don't know if it was in my stream, it might have been someone else's stream that I was watching. N5 of course has been minus 10 here lately. <laughs> yeah, see that's the thing, in Tasmania it doesn't really get that cold. Like, it doesn't get very cold or very hot. We're sort of right in the middle, but it tends towards the colder because we're, you know, closer to the Antarctic than anywhere else, than anyone else. So, um, yeah, it tends to be cold here a lot. What was I saying? Um, Tas is pretty similar to the UK. Yes, Tas Tasmania is the UK of Europe. It's cold, it's wet, it's uh, it's dreary a lot of the time. I mean, we do have hot days, much like anywhere else, but it's it's the least Australian, uh, in terms of weather, it's the least Australian kind of city. Uh, city, uh, kind of state. Land mass. Yeah, so, like, when you think of, when you think of Tasmania, think green, cold, wet, dreary, overcast, UK-type weather. Don't think hot, arid, desert. There's no deserts in Tasmania, as far as I know. Keyes is... Yeah, I mean, the Keys is right. It's, it's actually been pretty good. Like, last two weeks, it's been sort of in the 20s, which is, is nice. I mean, I'd prefer it a little bit warmer, but I think a lot of people are just like, yep, I'll take that. So, I mean, I prefer a sort of 25 to 30, whereas it's been sort of 20 to 25. My mess is 20 degrees, still too hot for me. <laughs> You wait, prick. During the last Tuesday, went from shit, 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 shit. Ugh. I gotta be careful because this load's a little bit top heavy. I can't just have around the corners like I normally do. Went from minus twenty five to minus five in like twenty hours. Is that is that unusual? I mean, like the minus is, is like crazy, but um, fuck that below twenty for me. Anything over twenty, I get comfortable. See, I'm kind of like, I get a little bit sweaty, but I don't get uncomfortable. I actually prefer the heat. Like, I'm actually cold now, and I don't like it. I hate having to rug up for to get warm. I'd rather just be warm. 
I don't mind being too hot. I don't like being cold. So yeah, this um this stream that I'm thinking of doing, I'll have to pick a day for it. Um, I'm not sure what time it'll be. Um, given that all the regulars will basically be here at the same time they normally are, and it's if I do it much later than that, it'll be too late for them. I'll probably end up having to do it at the same time, like start at seven quarter past seven in the morning, and then just like stream through for like three or four hours. So we'll wait and see. I'll probably try and do it at the same time so all the regulars can, can jump in and, and do stuff. See, that sort of um, change in temperature around here, like not the minus, like it never gets that cold here, but um, that sort of change, like variance in temperature is not uncommon here at all. Like it'll regularly, not re well, it's uncommon, but it it will go from 25 degrees, not minus 25, but like 25 degrees down to 5 over the course of a day, easily, easily, like hours, probably like 10 hours. I, I, could, I mean, it could, it could feasibly happen in 10 hours, so that's not a huge variance for us. I think because of all the wind we get here, and because of all the um, the uh, the air coming from the uh, the Antarctic, um, it tends to sort of like if we have a really hot spell, it can disappear fairly quickly because it. Uh, oh shit! I need to actually pull over and sleep, but I'm it's the middle of the night, the prime driving time. Fuck. Okay, I'll just wait. I'll keep going until I'm almost out. Um, yeah, so it's it doesn't. I mean, varies. That varies in temperature is not uncommon here at all. That's why everyone's sick of them exactly. Shorts and t-shirt weather for me. I'm actually, my hands are freezing. Like, I'm actually fucking cold. Right now. Pull these down. I actually have, I used to have gloves. I think I, I, think I still have them. No, they're not my drawer. I used to have gloves, like fingerless gloves, that I actually, during the cold months, I used to put them on when I played Shack Deck at like 8 in the morning. Keeks, are you going out drinking with, with Fotus tonight? Is that what's going on? He was telling us that he's going out or something. I, I don't remember if it was Friday night or Saturday night or what time it was. Uh, 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 up on nine wheels. There we go. I'm nine wheeling. How's everyone else doing today? I haven't asked. I usually, I'd like to try and ask how people have been doing because it, A, it starts off conversations and B, um, it shows that I can. The problem is that because I can only sort of flash to the, the text every, you know, every couple of seconds, I often don't get, I often miss stuff. So, I assume Kicks is always drinking. Yeah. It's not a bad assumption to make. I suppose I don't think he drinks that much. Make him kind of like he makes him seem like an alcoholic. He's not that bad. He's, he's hardly ever drinking when I see him. Less than half the time. Yes, this is the I don't care segment. Quick, pretend that you care. No, I like to hear about how things are going. With everybody. I do wonder how Kiggs' mum is doing and his brother. He didn't actually say the, the gender of his sibling, did he? I think he might have said it was a brother. I don't think he actually said it, or if he did, I missed it. I remember having the conversation. I don't remember him saying uh, the baby's name or the gender. So, Kiggs was on the phone, so I missed whatever happened. Damn it, Kiggs! Stop working. Gina, how often do you go, from, go to Australia from where you're at? Is it a four? Keegs actually, is TJ actually asking a question? 
How often did you go to Australia for... Oh, like to, to the mainland. Um, well, as the, just for reference, Tasmania is technically part of Australia, although that's not part of the same landmass. Um, it's actually... Yeah, it's cheap. It's it's relatively cheap. Um, to go from Hobart, the, the capital, to Melbourne, which is pretty much what everyone does if you want to go to the mainland. Um, you can also go to Sydney and you can fly to Perth or any of the capital cities, really. Um, but basically, you pretty much, unless you have a specific reason to, you'll go to Melbourne, Sydney, or perhaps Queensland, um, if you're on holiday, like that's what we did. Um, it's about, I mean, it varies. If you, I think the probably the most expensive, if you, if you, like, if you go sort of the equivalent of, like, if you go business class at the last minute, it's probably going to cost you something in the region of 400, 500 bucks each way. But if you go through, like, cattle class, what we call the, you know, the super cheap airline, um, and you sort of book relatively early, like, with, like, a couple of weeks in advance, it can cost you hundred bucks. I've seen it as low as twenty bucks. Like they have, there's a there's a um, uh, airline down here that's called Jetstar um, that will do sales like every couple of weeks. Um, and if you book early enough, you can. I've seen airfares like return airfares for like twenty nine bucks. So if you can if you can stomach the the god awful service or lack of service and the and the shitty you know, shitty seats, um, yeah. Tex is going to go cook. What are you going to cook? Tex-Mex? Oh, oh. Doing okay, having crunch time at work, so doing work most of the day. Oh, good. One way to Melbourne. At the right time is about 39 bucks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, it's, it's, you could get it really cheap. If you're planning ahead, then yeah, it's, it, it could be super cheap because you're only going, uh, at a guess, um, you're probably only going a thousand kilometres, like flying a thousand kilometres. It takes about an hour, a bit over an hour, an hour and ten minutes, I think. So, it's not, it's not very expensive. Beef stew, oh, beef stew, eh. Not really beef stew. I do, I actually remember, I remember you saying beef stew, but I didn't, I didn't put the two together. Um, yes, yeah, so it's, it's cheap. It's not very expensive. Like, I don't go very often because I don't really have any reason to go over there. I've got some friends over there, but, um, not the kind of friends that I would go over and just sort of go, like, hey, how are you going? And even less now that I've, I have, um, a baby. So, I say babies, like, you do a weekend trip you land head and it would be affordable yeah exactly I mean people do it all the time like you, it's not uncommon for someone to go fuck I'm going to go to Melbourne this weekend and just like book on a Monday or Tuesday spend you know 100 bucks or 150 bucks return and then go over there spend you know 500 bucks or a grand and go to a casino hotel etc Reading chat is the equivalent of texting and driving, so yeah, it is kind of dangerous. Luckily, I mean, it's in the middle of the night. There's not a huge amount of cars around, and um, I can use all three lanes. Three lanes, you say? I only see two. Wow, you're not thinking. You're not thinking. Uh, I was going to say statistically. You're not thinking uh, tactically. See, but now there's four lanes. One, two, three, and another lane over there. Oh. Keys and his son are going over to New South Wales for New Year's and it's about 400 bucks. Yeah, see, 400 bucks is like you're actually going from Melbourne from Hobart to Sydney, which is probably another 3,000 Ks at a guess, I think. Can't be that far, surely. I actually don't know. Like, I, should, I probably should know that. Um, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I've missed, I've missed everything. Pull over in the, in the, in the breakdown lane. Alright, let's see if we can have to back up. Let's back up. Backing up down the highway. Oh yeah.
Yeah, let's go. Oh, I flattened something. Never mind. Okay. Apparently, my mum will come over for lunch tomorrow. I spend all day, man. Do it. It's like a two and a half hour flight to, to Sydney. Yeah, it's about two and a half hours. <sighs> from... Damn it. My guy needs to sleep now. Chase is causing major, major losses for Zenon's calling company due to delays and reversing on motorways and trying to find a place for a UEU. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good thing about me being, like, living, I mean, I guess, uh, I mean, I, like, I wear track pants and a shirt most of the time when I'm at home, um, because it's comfortable and warm. Hey, Victor, how you doing? You're coming right at the wrong time. You've missed, um, what did we miss? We missed, uh, One Late Night where we, we played that for like an hour and 20 minutes and then it crashed and then we rage quit and did some Rocket League gun decrating. Uh, we got massively disappointed by that because I got nothing I wanted. And then we decided to do some Euro Truck. Uh oh, Toll Bridges. My worst enemy. <sighs> so my guy needs to sleep. I think I should pull over here and sleep. It's about 2 a.m. Oh shit. Fuck. Crap balls. Misjudge that slightly. I'll pull over there in the parking thing and go to sleep. Actually, oh, I've got 128k to go. Could I make it? No. Probably not. Cut that car off. What? Oh, I need to back up again. God damn it. I've overrun it. There we go. Now we sleep until the morning where everybody's driving around. To sleep in the toll booth. <laughs> if you dream of Xenon streaming, you can't be leading an interesting life. Hey! Oh, God damn it! Read text, read chat instead of fucking driving. There we go. Were you born in Tasmania to move there for some reason? Nobody moves here for uh, for you know. Nobody moves here for. I was gonna say for any reason. Nobody moves here of their own volition. It usually falls to you. Um, no, I was born here. But though I lived on the east coast in a tiny, tiny little town that's really, really shit, and I'm really, really glad that I left. That's shit. I'd much rather have grown up in somewhere like Melbourne or Sydney. But having said that, I'll I'll probably never move there now. I think I prefer to live there, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be moving now. Too late now. What dreams would an interesting life lead to? I don't know. Parachuting, skydiving. That's what I imagine. An exciting active life. Dreams about whiskey. Ooh, whiskey. Lovely, lovely whiskey. Do you guys, there's probably a couple of you in here, do you guys remember me telling you about, this would have been about, probably about three months ago, there was, I was telling you about customers, I think I was bitching about customers just in general, and there was, I was telling you about one customer who, um, never paid on time, um, always did everything last minute, it was a really shitty customer. At the same time as that, I told you about a laptop that I had for another customer, unrelated to that one, who I'd, I'd, had, I'd had this laptop for probably about three months or four months at that stage, and I kept on calling them saying, this is what you need to do to fix your laptop, please give me a call, let me know what you, what you actually want to do with it. And they never call me back. It's still fucking here. The laptop is still sitting there on the floor. It's still busted. I mean, it's not busted. That's actually fine. Um, but it's still there. It's, I've had it for like six months now, I think. I'd have to go back and check my logs. I check my invoices. But I'm pretty sure it's been here at least four months. Probably more like six. So. Yeah, I was in the telling you about it. And it's still fucking here. It's still sitting there on the floor. Having nothing's happened to it. It's, it's just nothing. Yeah, it's like usually after three months, I throw shit out. Or keep it. Or resell it. Or do whatever I'm going to do because I just I, I email them and say, look, if you don't tell me what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to I'm going to keep it. I'm going to throw it out. I'm going to do something with it. It's a perfectly good laptop. It's only like the laptop itself is only like a year old, so it's not like even it's an old shitty laptop that they don't care about. It's actually a new laptop that they bought. That they had a couple of issues with, and I found the issues, told them what they needed to do to fix it, which admittedly was going to cost them around about 400 bucks, 500 bucks, 
but then they essentially get a laptop back because I think they've the guy who had the laptop is essentially has no other machine to use. So, I bet you he's not real happy. Use it as a Christmas present, yeah. The thing is, though, as soon as I do something with it, as soon as I throw it out, as soon as I sell it, as soon as I repurpose it for something else, they'll call me and go, can we have our laptop back? I'll be like, no. No, you can't. Hey! 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 <laughs> Fucking get out of the way! Fucking bus cut me off. Perfect stream giveaway thing. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> I reckon I've sent at least 10 emails to two different people and made probably like six phone calls and three or four texts to say, this is your laptop, it's still here, what do you want me to do with it? In, in fact, I think what I might do today is text the guy and say, um, "Please let me do what. Please let me do what. To, please, please let me know what to do with the laptop, or I'm going to throw it out. And if I don't get anything by, actually, no. What I'm going to say is, please let me know what to do with the laptop by Friday. Shit, today's Friday. By next Friday, or I'm going to throw it out. And if they don't text me back, I'm going to say, well, I texted you multiple times. I emailed you." If you didn't get the message by then, you're not fucking going to. I've got the feeling he's actually purposefully ignoring my messages because this this particular customer used to be my best customer. Like they were, they were. Um, I've had this customer for probably about six years, and they have a really old laptop hosting my website. Christmas is coming up. <laughs> no, you don't. Shit, I've fucked up. I flamingoed up. Oh, I can just slap a Yui around here. Yes, perfect. What runs it on? I'm 16Ks from where I need to be and I'm taking the wrong turn. It's all good. We can go this way. Just be cool to keep, keep short, keep the transcript. I mean, I've got so many emails. I've got so many text messages. So many, like, you know, phone logs. I've asked him so many times. He's got no excuse. Really, fuck all excuse. Oh, shit. I'm bogged. Come on. Bloody traction controls kicking in. I'm not moving. Come on. I'm I'm seriously I'm beach des, bro. As soon as I get on the concrete, I'll be alright. But just getting there. This is like fucking six wheel drive. This thing. Oh, actually, it's four wheel drive technically. Come on, come on. I'm gonna have to cut you off, dude. I'm sorry. Come on, get on the fucking concrete. Well, you must be on one out, sure. There we go. What Kings lie to you? What what website is this, Keeks? Is this the APF the APF website? Or is this your own personal website I've never seen? It's pink to shiba laptops about six years old. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just like, dude, I'd understand if you said, look, we don't want to spend the money on it, give us the laptop back. I'd understand if you said, look, it's, I, I, I think it's too expensive, can you find something else? I'd understand if you said, do chuck it out. I don't understand you not responding at all. It's for your business website. Oh, okay. Where's it hosted? Are you hosted on your own, your own connection? I guess you would now, you've got MBN. Non-potato internet. <laughs> uh. Alright, you got any questions? Hit me up with them now because I'm dangerously close to delivering the load. Hey, careful dude. Fucking hell! Jesus! That was close. <laughs> that was like something I would do. What time is it? 10 a.m. Almost ready. Oh shit. Touch the mouse. There we go. Oh, 
Do I have to turn in there? I do. Alrighty. Takes right off your home internet. Well, exactly. Oh, shit. Oh, oh I wanted to park it. I pressed it and pressed enter. I did a reasonable job. Yeah. 1,000 XP, 1,600 bucks. 16,000 bucks. 16,000 euros. That's actually a lot of money. Woo! We delivered a load. Keeks is a big twat. .com. No, it's called KegelExercises.com. <laughs> uh, okay. Cool. Well, we shall call it there. This has been the random stream for Friday. The Friday rando stream. Um... What's coming up next? Uh, Monday. I should be streaming Monday. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I think, actually, I might have to take Benjamin to daycare. Actually, I'm pretty sure I have to take Benjamin to daycare on Monday. So, if I stream on Monday, it'll be a late stream. Um, but, I'll let you know on Twitter. Always check the Twitter wall. Um, or you can just jump on on. YouTube at the same the time I usually stream and go hmm is it on here no Victor says don't you dare stop streaming don't stop believing TJ says see you later I'll see you soon TJ I'll talk to you on Steam probably um thanks for the thanks for moderating the chat line man we didn't have to do a lot of moderation today so that was that was good uh thanks to Lempos and Victor and N5 and everybody else who came along fuck Keggs he was he turned up the last minute like some Johnny come lately um, yeah, also jump on the Discord if you're not on the Discord. Um, I think pretty much all of you are, except maybe TJ. What a bastard. Um, Discord.gg slash XQMYEGK. Jump on the Discord. We usually continue the chat after the stream's finished there for a little while. Um, especially if people have been talking about something unrelated to what I've been doing. It, it usually continues on there, so. He says, listen here, fucko, I've been busy and shit. Is that so, Keeks? Oh, I see. Well, yeah, well yeah, yeah, you can go fucking time out, you prick. There you go. You can go and do your busy stuff somewhere else. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. I'll see you all next time. Bye! I think this calls for some victory music. What should I put on? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I know what I should put on. Here we go. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. See you later. Bye-bye.